Hi, folks. Uh, Sam Cedar here. It is 3.40 p.m. on Friday, and uh, Friday is a big uh, news dump day. And speaking of big uh, news and dump, um, you know, on this program, I have been saying, and frankly, I said on uh, the Chris Hayes show, uh, just days after uh, it became clear that um, uh, why, or at least that there was nefarious reasons behind the closing of the the lanes from Fort Lee onto the George Washington Bridge. It's being reported literally seven minutes ago, eight minutes ago now, in the uh, New York Times that David Wildstein, the longtime friend of uh, Chris Christie, who Chris Christie barely knew when he <laughs> apparently hired him for a, a six-figure job, made up, uh, made up a new job at the Port Authority. This is the guy who received the uh, text from uh, the uh, assistant chief of staff, or one of the deputy chief of staffs, Kelly's, uh, when uh, Kelly said, time for some traffic to hit Fort Lee. And um, David Wildstein, the, uh, the Port Authority official, just wrote back, got it. In a letter released by his lawyer, and I will say this, we have been talking about who is going to be first. Who's going to be first to crack? Kelly, uh, recently divorced, has four kids, probably not interested in any way in uh, going to prison to not see, and not seeing those kids. Somebody's going to get in trouble here, folks. And uh, the question was, who's going to crack first? Well, it seems that it's going to be David Wildstein. In a letter released by his lawyer, David Wildstein said that evidence exists as well tying Mr. Christie to having knowledge of the lane closures during the period when the lanes were closed, contrary to what the governor stated publicly in a two-hour press conference three weeks ago. Mr. Wildstein contests the accuracy of various statements that the governor made about him and can prove the inaccuracy of some. This is, um, this is just one of the problems that are facing Chris Christie now. And now you know... The U.S. Uh, 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 U.S. attorney in New Jersey has been subpoenaing uh, people on this and the Hoboken <clears throat> incident. We know that legislative committees have been subpoenaing people. Once this is out, the cat is out of the bag. Everybody is going to be racing now to turn evidence on everybody else. So that they make sure that when this uh, musical chairs ends, they're not the one headed to prison. And so uh, this is just going to be the first of it. This should be a very exciting weekend for everybody except for Chris Christie. For Chris Christie, it's going to be a sad weekend. And the cast of Morning Joe. And, <laughs> and we should also say that uh, I would anticipate the ratings of Morning Joe on Monday to reach an all-time high as uh, they deal with this news. So, Chris Christie, we hardly knew you. Um, I have been predicting for, like I said, from just a couple of days after this was first revealed that the issue of 2016 and Christie's presidential run was not really at issue here. The question would, would he be governor in 2015? Let me publicly say that obviously I was wrong. The issue is, will he be governor in the summer of 2014. So, I can't believe the guy who I called a loser in high school is doing this to me. That's right. Let that be a lesson to you, folks. Don't screw over your friends when Never you throw are them. when you're doing things that are illegal. Never throw. And when he's the one who can bring you down. Right. Never throw the nerd under the bus when you order that nerd to shut down uh, <laughs> lanes, lanes of traffic, to presumably your political for, enemies for buses.